Good morning, and thank you for those wonderful applause. I hope that's the beginning of a great couple of days. Good morning, everyone. As was said earlier, I'm Peter Grauer, the executive chairman of Bloomberg, and I am truly delighted to welcome you to the inaugural Bloomberg Euro, Euro excuse me, Bloomberg News Economy Gateway Europe in Ireland. I'm honored to be joined by such a distinguished group of attendees, and I would like to thank you all for being here for your collective work toward a better, more equitable, and more sustainable global economy. It's my hope that you will find the sessions hosted here today and tomorrow stimulating and informative. But more importantly, I hope they resonate with you, inspiring both ideas and action. Ideas are the foundation of a prosperous future. Bloomberg New Economy exists to create a community where capital can empower those ideas. And I never cease to be amazed by the caliber of people I meet at these events and the sheer brilliance of their insights. At Bloomberg, innovation means constant renewal. And we've grown continuously for over 40 years because we recognize renewable, renewal is unachievable without collaboration and meaningless if it does not create material impact for our customers and the wider world. In that vein, I'm delighted to see so many of you here to listen, to learn, and to share knowledge with one another. I'd like you to join me in thanking the IDA Ireland, without whom this conference would not be possible, and whose commitment to economic progress in Europe has resulted in perhaps some of the most inspiring business success stories in the world. IDA Ireland provides a wonderful example of how collaboration and partnership can bring together capital and ideas. IDA Ireland's contribution to growth and resilience in the technology, life sciences, medical and engineering sectors, among others, have been enormous and one of the reasons that Ireland remains a leading economy. I'd also like you to join me in thanking Enterprise Ireland, who play a pivotal role in ensuring Irish business have a strong foundation on the world stage. And with their support, numerous businesses from startups to household names have been better able to access S export markets across the globe and achieve sustainable international growth. Let's take a moment to recognize these organizations in their role in making today possible and in driving a fair, more prosperous economy in the future. As we participate in the Bloomberg New Economy Gateway Europe, we must recognize the seismic changes that are happening in the world around us and what that means for business leaders and policymakers here and on the continent. Geopolitical uncertainty can seem a distant problem, yet today we witness war taking place in the, on the doorstep of Europe while growing tensions between the U.S. and China cast a pall on international relations the world over. During these sessions, we will examine the effects of instability on supply chains and businesses in nation states as they reconsider once cheap and simple trade relationships in favor of flexibility and security. Nearshoring and friendshoring, terms rarely used only months ago, have become a strategic mainstay and part of our daily lexicon. We must also take this opportunity to look to the future. OpenAI was first to publicly unveil a large language modeling solution, or LLM, but there are a number like it now, including Bloomberg GBT, which, that show what might be possible through the power of artificial intelligence. I'm amazed by the capabilities of these technologies to churn out content so instantaneously and in a voice that's so startlingly human-like. We know they have the potential to increase productivity in the workplace and transform the way we live and interact. What's not clear yet is whether this really is the beginning of the greatest disruptive threat 
to traditional and di digital business models that any of us has experienced. And who knows what our society will be like if these technologies continue to develop at the current pace. It's up to us as business people to help decide how we respond to satisfy and responsibly harness the potential for humanity's gain and to ensure they remain opportunities and not become threats. Do we already possess the solution to these challenges? Can European creativity and problem solving show us a clear path to progress? We're here to explore solutions to our most pressing problems and to turn them tools for change. If the ideas are the foundation, collaboration is the blueprint for a better future. The thinkers, innovators, and founders among you who conceive and develop these ideas are such critical members of our community. Just as necessary are the individuals and organizations whose decisions shape the future of the global economy. They represent the capital, human, social, political, and intellectual capital that turns uh, great ideas into real and tangible change. Each of us here has some power, some equity, intellect, or influence to affect meaningful, lasting change. And it is our collective responsibility to exercise that power, to seize the opportunity to create a better future here in Europe and around the world, and to lay the foundation for a fairer, freer, and more stable global society. And with that thought in mind, I would like to ask my colleague Eric Schatzker, the editorial director of Bloom Bloomberg New Economy, to tell us about the exciting program in front of us. I'm confident you will find your time here of value and that you'll leave having learned much and having made useful new relationships. Again, thank you all for joining us this morning, and please have an enjoyable two days. And let me also say welcome to Bloomberg New Economy Gateway Europe. We are, as you heard from Peter, absolutely thrilled to have you here in Ireland. And I have been assured by my new Irish friends that the weather here is always as fabulous. This is our first gateway in Europe, and it won't be the last. Let me explain. Five years ago, when Bloomberg New Economy was started, the future of the global economy seemed to hinge on cooperation between the United States and China. This, as you all know, is a different world, an increasingly multipolar world in which Europe has more influence. I was talking about this with one of our speakers last night, Enu Bradford, and as she put it, and she's right, Europe matters. This event, I am so pleased to say, could not be more timely. A few reminders. Russia's war in Ukraine has driven Finland and Sweden to join NATO. A massive intelligence leak out of the United States has upset its European allies and undermined trust. Brexit is still sowing confusion and creating uncertainty for business. The financial industry has been shaken by banking failures on both sides of the Atlantic. And debate is swirling over the need, or not, to regulate the extraordinary feats of generative artificial intelligence. Our program tackles all of these issues head on. We built this gateway, the Gateway Europe, around the theme of re-globalization. It's a theme that you saw just moments ago in our opening video. Why? Because the world isn't really deglobalizing. Trade is as essential to the global economy as it ever was. We're going to explore a bunch of different things. The resilience of supply chains, the power of the metaverse, the promise of sustainable aviation, the gold rush into green energy, the essential ingredients to a knowledge economy, the future of crypto, and so much more. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. These next two days are going to be fun. They're going to be provocative. They're going to be challenging, maybe even at times disquieting. We want to earn every ounce of your attention. Right now, and I ask you to bear with me, I have a few notes to share. 
Number one, closed captioning. There will be a text readout for all the sessions displayed on the side screens. Number two, simultaneous interpretation. All the plenary sessions will have simultaneous translation into Mandarin via headsets you'll find at the back of the room by the entrance. Number three, as a courtesy to our speakers and to your fellow delegates, folks, we ask that you silence your mobile phones and kindly take all your calls outside the plenary hall. Do listen to all the announcements. This is item number four, of course. Do listen to all the announcements carefully for scheduling reminders and be back on time without fail. Number five, share what you're learning, who you're meeting, how great an experience you're having. Use it. Use the hashtag New Economy Gateway on all the social platforms you prefer. We have a metaverse demo available throughout the event. You may have seen it already. It's up on the fourth floor next to registration. Do not miss the opportunity to experience augmented reality through the Magic Leap headset. I haven't used it yet. I can't wait. I hope you will too. Number six, and this is important, questions and answers, Q&A, and polling. We actually want to hear from you. There is a QR code. You'll see it in a moment behind me. Uh, through which you'll be able to submit questions for our moderators and ask, uh, our moderators to ask, excuse me, our panelists, and also to participate in live polling. There it is. There's a QR code. By scanning this QR code with your phones, you'll be taken to a website. This is how it works. Uh, and on that website, you'll be able to participate in the Q&A and the polling. And if for some reason the QR code doesn't work for you, um, we have a URL that you can enter into your smartphone browser. It is, and we'll be putting this up again, I think. It's bbgevent.app forward slash BNE. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Um, okay, to warm things up, I want you to scan the QR code right now because I'm going to warm things up with a practice poll and you're going to all get the hang of this. So please get out your phone, scan the QR code, and vote in the following poll, which should be coming up any moment. Is it coming up? It's up, excellent. Okay, so how are you going to toast the success of Bloomberg New Economy Gateway Europe? With A, a Guinness, B, a Jameson's, C, Bailey's, or D, Iris Spring Water. Well, no surprise, Guinness is the runaway winner. I definitely didn't vote for Iris Spring Water. <laughs>